Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today the brand new Chaos Altar buff just came out and I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So it's extremely high risk because obviously it's in the wilderness. This is day one so I mean I, people are going to be there PKing. Uh, but what I'm going to go over is testing out different levels of risk because of course you could bring 5,000 Dragon Bones in the wilderness and get ridiculous XP rates however you'd be risking a ton of money. I'm going to go try bringing uh, 100 Dragon Bones at once, 50 Dragon Bones at once, maybe an inventory at once and see what the XP rates get down to. So we'll go test a few different things out and uh, see the results. So to start off here I just want to check one thing before we get started. Because the Lava Maze seems like it's going to be one of the closest teleports, I'm just going to teleport there with nothing on just to make sure that, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I thought it would be pretty popular for people to just jump uh, teleporters here because you'd be teleporting here with possibly 500k worth of Dragon Bone. Seems like a pretty good spot to PK, uh, but seems clear for now so I don't know, we'll start with an inventory, see how it goes, and we'll move up from there. Okay, so my risk is about 127k, and that is pretty much 100% in the bones. And I'm not bringing any food, and my reasoning here is that if I get attacked, I'm going to die. Unless I bring a full inventory of food and some other stuff, uh, which is just going to be impacting your experience rates, I'm better off to just log off and pay attention, as opposed to bringing extra supplies. So all we're going to be bringing is coins, which you will need to exchange the noted bones, and a full inventory of full bones and just some defensive armor. We're going to start this off by trying it with just one extra inventory so we can try out um, the guy there that they can exchange the dragon bones for you. So the easiest teleport I'm thinking is the burning amulet teleport. It has no requirements to use and is relatively close. I know there are some other ways to get here but I think this is going to be the most common and easily accessible way. Now one of the largest risks here is going to be somebody logging in underneath me because it'll be kind of hard to recognize when that happens. So the main benefit here besides giving uh, the XP the normal Gilded Altar would is that there's a 50% chance of the bone not getting used which in turn gives it another 50% chance of the bone not getting used which in turn will give it another chance and you get the point. So it's actually much higher than just a 50% chance of the bone not getting used because it will still continue to redo the same bone over and over and over again. The next benefit is that there is this Elder Chaos Druid which can exchange noted bones into regular bones and then you can continue to use them on here. So the XP rates here are probably going to be about 350k if you do not leave which is a terrible idea so most people probably won't get that. We're going to test the difference now between uh, if you bring 50 bones, if you bring 100 bones, maybe if you bring one inventory which will be the lowest risk. If you do happen to get attacked and you are just pretty much at the end of your bones you might as well just try to use them all before you end up dying. So why there is a high risk of dying here? For every inventory you do, you are saving a tremendous amount of money. Alright, so we're just coming up to our first bone here. So once it's uh, ran out, all you're going to do is use the Dragon Bones on the Elder Chaos Druid and you should unnote them for you. Uh, exchange all bones and you're just going to run back and continue the process. So while I think the highest likelihood is that someone will log in and kill you, otherwise it's pretty easy to log out on time. The highest risk is probably when you're logging into a world because some people will probably just camp the world and uh, look just for people logging in, in which case you'll probably die. So you can see I'm looking at about 360k an hour, assuming I don't leave. Again, terrible idea. And one other thing worth mentioning is I do not have the will the elites done, which will increase your XP rate even more. Okay, Ooh, logged it on time, and I wasn't even paying attention. So obviously the 360k an hour is if you're not interrupted, which is not going to happen, but it's a good baseline to start with. On top of that, you can use the bones on here if you wanted for quicker XP rates. Not going to bother doing that because it's just too much work. I think it's more important to pay attention to your surroundings make sure you don't die as opposed to uh, being able to use the bones quicker. Honestly, once you're at the end of your inventory, it'd just be easier to die. I wouldn't actually have to run 8 levels through the wilderness. So now we're going to run back and uh, quickly hop back here and see what the XP rates roughly are going to look like if you bank uh, after every two inventories. Because it is a fair amount you have to run. You have to run all the way down to level 30 wilderness. Uh, you have to teleport back and run from the Lava Dragon Isle, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, so we bumped down to 250k, which is kind of comparable to a regular Gilded Altar. However, the main benefit here is how much money you are saving. Uh, you're saving more than 50% on every bone you use. So uh, you can see how much experience I've gotten here. 25k from just over 50 bones, which is quite a bit more than normal. Alright guys, so we're on to our second batch of items, and that's going to be 100 at a time. So you can see the XP right here. Uh, we've already done one inventory. So you may be wondering why it's uh, pretty much on par with the last one. Well I have been interrupted quite a bit more this time so I wouldn't take this as fact. Uh, I would say you get roughly 300k an hour if you were actually, uh, if, if it was an even playing field. Last time I only got attacked like once. This time I've been harassed quite a bit more for whatever reason but still I've only died once 
and that was with a fair amount of bones, but we'll calculate after to see if that was actually worth it. A couple things I've learned is close the door. Close the fucking door. Uh, because people, a lot of people are actually just running in. With the door closed, it gives you just an extra second pretty much to log off, uh, which is actually quite invaluable at this point. So I did die once with 100 bones on me, like I was a fresh start, and that was from running up here. Uh, it wasn't actually just as I teleported, but he somehow just surprised me. I thought he was a Chaos Elemental dot, and it was just some guy running down, and he got me. So that was a bit of a loss. And the second time, I did lose 25 bones because my computer actually crashed, and I logged back in. Of course, I died. Uh, but yeah, so 125 bones out of close to 500. Now that doesn't sound very good, but if you take into account that you really only need to bury half your bones, uh, even less than half, uh, to break even with a regular method, like saying doing it in your house, um, it's actually pretty good. I've actually saved money over uh, using it on a gilded altar in a home, even though it's a little more stressful, but honestly this is day one of it, and I really have only died once. You honestly don't even have to be paying that close of attention. Uh, I've had a couple people aggro me, but I've gotten away with zero food. I uh, just run pretty much south and hope you get to the <laughs> 30 wilderness. Um, those people kind of suck. So after testing 100 bones at a time and 50 bones at a time, which one do I think is superior? I would say 50. While you are losing a bit of experience, you are risking half as much. Well, for only a slight reduction in experience, I'd say uh, 50 bones at a time is probably 250k an hour, where 100 bones at a time is probably close to 300k an hour. However, you are risking twice as much. I really don't think it's worth it. Anything over 100 bones, I just wouldn't recommend doing at all. The banking time, while it's not that close, it really only takes like a minute and a half. And uh, because of the because of the 50% chance of you keeping the bone, you're actually here for quite a while. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. We've done 200 bones. So let's go back to the Grand Exchange. We'll go and calculate uh, how much money we've actually saved because we've definitely saved money over the conventional method. And I'll just give you my final thoughts. Initially was going to do 25 bones at a time, but I really don't see the merit of that. That doesn't really seem like there's any point. And uh, yeah, hopefully someone can log in and kill me now, because that would actually save me a bit of time. So in total, I buried 500 bones, but I took a sample size from the 200 I buried uninterrupted, and by that I mean I didn't die or anything like that, because it was easier to keep track of. So from 200 bones, I got 108k experience, or 542 XP on average per bone. Normally from 200 dragon bones, you would have gotten 50.4k had you used it on the Gilded Altar in a POH. So that is actually 2.14 times more. This isn't a large enough sample size to know for sure. I would say 2.14 is actually probably on the low end of things. Uh, not taking into account, of course, that you could get the Woody Elites and get even more. So like I said, I buried 500 Dragon Bones. Of those 500, I ended up losing 125 of them. Uh, which was a pain, but in the end, I am actually still up. So in total, for the 375 bones of the 500 that I did end up burying, I got 203k experience in total. Had I buried those just at a regular altar, I would have only gained 126k experience. You're saving a very noticeable amount at the Wilderness Altar. Now, this is not taking into account the difference in XP rates. However, from the 500 Dragon Bones that I did do, uh, they were pretty comparable. Yeah, obviously, it really comes down to how many people are PKing at that time and other factors, but on day one, I was probably getting similar XP rates to a POH. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. When I first heard about this, I really didn't think I would use it at all. I thought it'd be way too stressful and just not worth it. However, the money I saved and just honestly how easy it is to get away from PKers actually makes me more inclined to do this in the future. Anyway guys, what do you think? Um, do you think it's worth it? Would you end up doing it if you got the chance? And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to toss out a like, and I'll see you in the next one.